What's going on guys? So I know this video is long overdue. Katie and I bought this house back in October and over the past two months with the help of family and friends, we've been going through the whole house, just renovating, changing everything, painting, changing out fixtures. So today it's pretty much done as far as like what our budget allows for right now. So I'm really excited to give you guys a tour of the house and show you what I've been up to. I guess we can start right here in the kitchen. Now when we bought the house, all the cabinets were like a golden oak uh, wood color. And I'm not totally against wood, just that color uh, wasn't really for us. So I think that the white looks more modern, more clean. We also put these like stainless door poles and then they also match like the microwave and the fridge. We had to buy the fridge uh, washer and dryer. The house didn't come with those. So talk about a really boring way to spend $2,000, but we had to have them. Uh, pretty much before we even moved in, we ordered those. All right, so coming out of the kitchen, this whole downstairs area is like one big um, open space. And then, so this is like the same dining table that we had in our apartment. We just moved it over here. And then Katie picked out this beautiful chandelier. I think she did a really good job choosing this one. Ultra modern, definitely our style, our taste. And then turning this way, this is like the living room area. As you can see, we've got it decked out for Christmas already. But uh, this is where we spend a lot of time in the evening, just hanging out like after dinner. Um, I'll usually watch like YouTube videos on TV and she reads books and things on her phone. We just kind of lay on the couch and just uh, relax for a little bit before bed. So for the living room, we decided to do this dark blue accent wall. This whole room was like kind of an off-white color before, kind of boring. So I think the blue is just a nice relaxing color, especially in the evening when we're just trying to unwind and watch some TV down here. So one kind of really weird thing about this space is that in the kitchen dining room area, there's actually a bathroom. It's just like a really small, like all that's in there is just one toilet. There's no shower or anything, but you have that just in case you have to uh, you know, do a number two in the middle of dinner. You've got easy access to that right there. So one last thing with this walkway space here, this is where we decided to put the washer and dryer. I know a lot of people like to put those in the basement, but uh, we decided it'd be easier to keep that stuff here upstairs. So uh, when we had these delivered, we just had them put them right here in the closet and they tuck away out of sight, out of mind until you need them. So this is my office slash YouTube studio. I edit videos here at this desk. I film videos, it's like the light that I use the mic stand and it's cool now that I can keep everything just set up that way whenever I'm ready to film I just have to flip on the camera and I can go from there so the gray in here is the same gray that's downstairs and then we painted the ceiling black um, just for like a studio room it kind of helps me control the light in here um, there was a really ugly ceiling fan that my dad took down when we put up those track lights I think it looks really like an actual studio it's pretty neat uh, the desk is from Ikea um, I specifically wanted one without drawers because uh, when you have drawers, you tend to fill them up with clutter. And uh, so I just want something really clean, minimalist, so that all I have is my computer. And when I sit down here, I'm just ready to get to work.
So this is the master bedroom and this is the one where I'm not really sure on our color choice just yet. We painted the walls like a, a really bright blue color and it looks nice but in a way I feel like it looks like a little boys room like I should have my Hot Wheels cars up on the wall or something. Katie really likes it so uh, maybe it'll stay for now. Um, we painted the other walls white so we have like this nice big window here so when the light comes in it kind of reflects off of that. And then this corner is all that dark blue color. It kind of makes this feel like its own uh, defined space I guess. In this room, if you look at it, it's like a really long L shape. Like I'm not sure why they decided to lay it out like that. It's kind of like um, all that is like wasted space, I feel like. But uh, yeah, we decided to do this whole corner in that blue color. So attached to the bedroom, we do have a walk-in closet. And this one, we haven't painted the inside yet. We're gonna change this color, change that light fixture. Ooh. Um some of Katie's shoes there, some hats. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna redo this room pretty soon. And you see this molding that's up there? It's like that really cheap kind of molding. That was all through the bedroom too. And uh, I actually tore all that out, filled in the holes where the nails were. So this whole bedroom had that stuff in it. So when we go to do the closet, we're gonna take that off and fill that in as well, just for a more clean look. So attached to the master bedroom is the master bathroom. And this is the one room in the house that uh, when we have a little bit more money, uh, we would like to totally renovate. Um, right now it's separated where like the bathtub and toilet are in one room and then the sink is in the other part. It's like divided in half. So when we can afford to do so, we would like to tear down this whole wall and just make this like one big open room. And then we've talked about getting like one of those standalone bathtubs and getting rid of this. Um, I think that would just look a lot more clean and just have a bigger open space uh, just to relax in here. So this room is the only room in the house that we haven't touched yet and this is going to be a uh, guest bedroom so when we have people come in from out of town and um, we talked about like doing some YouTube collaborations with like uh, Keys Motorsports or whoever wants to come into town they'll actually have a place to stay you know they won't have to get a hotel or anything they can just stay in here uh, but we do have to get a bed for in here before that can happen so that's the guest room <laughs> So this is the basement, it's not finished and we're not really sure yet what we're going to do down here. Um, but it does have high ceilings and so I actually skate down here. I put on a helmet just so I don't like crack my skull on the ceiling but um, it is, you know, if it's like too cold outside to skate sometimes I'll have a little session down here in the basement. So this is a garage, this is a project that is still in progress right now with some help from my friends and my dad. Uh, we finished all of the insulation in here, we put lights up on the ceiling, so the hole cut out, we're going to use that for storage probably. Um, but yeah, this is coming along, I'm actually going to order the drywall this week so we can continue this project. But uh, yeah, I've done some videos on this space, uh, a lot of DIYs in the future will be shot in here. It's like one of the main reasons that we chose this house specifically was for this garage. So there's not a whole lot to see outside. That right there is our air conditioner. It's kind of old, so we're probably gonna have to replace that soon. Um, it's like all rusted out, that's why we have a cover on it. Um, I think the people that put these steps in were probably drunk or high. <laughs> Speaking of drunk, this is actually a drunk trap. So if a drunk person comes bumbling through our yard, they will get stuck in there until they sober up. And uh, yeah. That turtle thing is technically mine now, as well as that satellite dish. That shed is actually my neighbor's. It's kind of weird that it actually like touches our property. Kind of a weird zoning thing there. I feel the one better, it's more natural. Mm, you're more natural. What? <laughs> Wait, so, <laughs> what? <laughs> so here we are. Here we are. In our house yes. that we bought. Yep, with our monies. <laughs> yeah. And it's been a long journey. We've been married for... Careful how you answer this. Two and a half years, since 2017. Um, we got married on her birthday so that I wouldn't get the dates mixed up. Now I only have to remember one date. Oh boy. Uh, but, oh boy. <laughs> but since then, we've, um, we've paid off our student loans. We paid off the BMW, paid off some medical bills. Um, we never really kept like credit card balances, but 
Um, yeah, it's just been like living below our means, just saving money so that we could uh, buy this house. This was always like the end goal for us from the time that we got together. Even when we were renting, we were planning on um, eventually moving and getting a place like this. So what do you think of the decor so far? It's getting there. I have pretty good taste, don't I? Yep, it's just you. I had no part in decorating this house, apparently. What do you think of the white cabinets? Some people, um, it's like, uh, for some people it's like really bad to paint over wood because it's like rainforest mahogany or something, but. Nobody said that. <laughs> but it you had just, to be done. Other people have other tastes, which is okay. He just doesn't get that. Mm. Mm. But I'm happy with how it came out. I think you're pretty happy with everything for the most part. Yeah. And, Especially uh, when you come home to things just randomly being done, mm -hmm. not how you discuss. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I came home and I was all of a sudden missing cabinet doors mm -hmm. for almost two months. Yeah, that did take a little bit longer than I thought. A but bit. yeah, looking forward to what the future has for us. Which is the puppy Justin just bought me for Christmas. Puppy. Her name is Blue, she's a yellow lab, and we get her in three weeks. Well, so I've never had a dog before, so uh, not really sure what I'm getting myself into, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh yeah, he really has no idea what he's done by buying me this puppy. So I guess I have like three weeks of peace and quiet left before, uh, I don't know, so. Before Blue starts destroying camera stuff. So thanks for watching guys, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little house tour, and we'll see you in the next video. In the next one. In the next one. Oh, now act like you like me. How do I smell? That's what work smells like. You would have to work. Oh.